Hey what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel Just Meg and today I have my January favorites and I don't really have any regrets so it's just my January favorites this month which is awesome. I love not having any regrets because that means I didn't waste my money. And the background has changed again. I put you in front of my bed. You can see the, we have bunk beds because we're chill. The children, um, but this is my bed right here. That's my roommate's bed. And there's my dresser if you're wondering what that little brown thing is in the corner. We are kind of like slanted. I did have to come up with a different kind of like setup. So you are sitting on top, my, well not you are, but my camera is sitting on top of a 24 pack of Dasani water bottles and a 8 pack of Powerade. So that's all good. Um, I had this is a long intro and I've been rambling so let's just get right into the video so the first object well not object the first item I have is a skincare item and it is the Batiste dry shampoo in the fruity and cheeky cherry I absolutely love this dry shampoo I used it today a little bit because I was too lazy oops um, but it is really nice. It takes the oiliness completely out of my hair when I use it, and I absolutely recommend it. And it's like seven bucks, so that's awesome. The next thing I have is this. I did get this a while ago, but I have been loving it this month, especially because I am so dry. My lips were oh, you. Oh, it was so bad. I had um, a giant like canker, not canker sore. What are they called? cold sore. I had a giant cold sore on my lip for the longest time and this like cured it and I love it. It's the Vaseline Creme Brulee Lip Therapy and it's like two or three bucks at Walmart or wherever you can find it but it really helps a lot. Keeping on that same topic of like dry skin, I have been, I did, I put this in my yearly favorites but I'm still loving it this month. It is my Vitamin E Intense Moisture Cream from The Body Shop. I use it all over my face um, for my dry skin. It has been so helpful this month because I, early, okay, earlier, I don't know if you remember me saying this or not, but I had dry patches galore and my eczema was flaring up all over my face and um, all on my body. It's still on my body, but it's gone from my face, which is really nice. So I use this in the... In, I used it with my prescription whatever cream which also helps like forever for like everything um, if you do have eczema I really recommend you go talk to your doctor and get a, a medicated cream for it because those are like the best way and only way I've been able to get rid of my red patches all right so we have those done um, another lotion I have from the body shop is this um, body butter and is the, that is not the name of it. Where is the name? It is the Frosted Cranberry Body Butter and it smells like heaven. Oh, the thing I was hoping like steady it, it just fell. Oh, it smells so good. I got this a while ago, and it lasts so long. It's amazing. It's amazing. Also really good for dry skin. And I got it. I think I got this on half off sale for 10 bucks. I think. I got it for really cheap. Alright, the next thing I have been loving is the Bliss Fat Girl Slim Firming Cream. It's, it has caffeine in it, so it really tightens up your skin, and I actually see a really big difference. I was a bit skeptical at first. I did only buy it because I got it on half-off sale at Ulta during their glowing skin event during January. Um, I think it went through the 23rd. I mean, I only knew that because I worked there for, for part of January. Um, I'm not working there now because I am back at school, and it just takes too much time to go back and forth between work and school and going home every weekend kind of things too so I will be going back and working there in the summer hopefully I will just have to reapply and see um but yeah this is very good I recommend it for anyone with like a bit of like looser skin that they want to tighten up 
I know on my stomach I had a lot and I've really been seeing great results. All right. Next two things that I have kind of go together. They are the Freeman um, face masks. I have one in charcoal and black sugar mud mask and the pomegranate um, revealing peel off mask. And I absolutely love these both. I feel like I held them at some point. I did something with these in a video, but I love them. I've, I've used them a lot. A lot. I do have another one over there, it's like a scrub, it says it's a mask, but it's more of a scrub to me. I wouldn't really use it as a mask, it makes me uncomfortable, I don't know. I don't know, just me. Um, so I have those two masks, okay, now I'm going to move on to makeup products. There's not as much makeup this month, I have been absolutely loving the skin care type stuff and trying to get myself more into that because it's very important. And I don't like my dry patches. They need to go away. So that's why I've been super into my skincare. I have worn this top in the video in a video before. Don't judge me. Alright, the next thing I have for you is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer. I absolutely love this. It hydrates my face under my foundation. I can use it under any foundation I have. And it just gives it that extra glow that it that my skin needs because it is so dry and it is absolutely amazing. I definitely recommend this to anyone with dry skin. Oily skin, don't know how much you'd like it just because of you'd get a little extra shiny and sometimes you don't like that. So, yeah. Next item is the um, Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Concealer. I have mine in the shade 20 Light. Um, I usually would get a shade lighter than this just so it would highlight a bit better but this is actually really close to my foundation color so this is just what I'm using um, but it's really nice if you set it right away it does not crease under the eye and it's very nice and it's cheap so drugstore actually I only have one high-end product in this video that takes a lot for me I haven't gone drugstore shopping in forever Except for, like more recently I have. Alright, so the next thing I have is the, of course, Maybelline Dream Velvet Foundation. You saw, if you haven't seen my um, first impression review, yada yada yada, whatever that video was, I will put an iCard in or something like that around this time. So you can go ahead and watch that if you want to know more about this foundation. It is absolutely amazing. I love it a lot. Am I, yes, I'm wearing it today. I kind of forgot I'd put on a different foundation, hated it, took it off, <laughs> and put this one on because it's kind of a go-to now. This is probably one of my favorite drugstore foundations. I love it a lot, and it's definitely worth it. You go, Maybelline. You've been killing it right now. Alright, oh, look, another Maybelline product. <laughs> um, it's the Baby Skin um, Primer, and it's just, oh, by the way, mine is in the shade 10. The, that foundation yeah this is the baby skin primer it's for an instant pore eraser and I absolutely love it I use it just in this zone under my eyes and on my t-zone as well as well as my chin just because I have a bit bigger pores there I have so many blackheads right now on my nose I never have blackheads it's frustrating me I need to do a mask yeah. yep that's what I gotta do um okay the next thing is a body spray. Oh, I lied. I have two like high-end makeup things. I have a body spray quick for you. It is the Piper's Perfumery Moroccan Dream Exotic Make Mango and Juicy Mandarin. My friend bought me this for me for Christmas, and I have been using it all the time. I absolutely love it. It smells so good. Yes. Love it. I think, I think she had a Walmart. So, that's good. Alright, the next thing is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I have been absolutely loving this powder this month. I did get it too late into 2016 to use it in my favorites video, but I absolutely love this. It's so great for baking the under eyes or just setting the face. I do have dry skin, so just a warning, I can't set my whole face with this powder just because it kind of dries it out. I know um, 
Jaclyn Hill had that same problem because she does have dry skin and I'm kind of similar to her in that way. Um, and yeah, I definitely agree with her in that it does dry out the rest of my face, but it's great for baking and ca carving out that contour. Alright, last thing is an oldie but a goodie, and it is the MAC Fix Plus. I absolutely love this stuff. It is my second bottle. I am getting down there. I'm going to buy another. I broke this one. That's why I'm running out so fast. Um, but I'm buying another one on my trip to Phoenix, so I'm very excited about that. I'm, all, I'm going on a giant haul on my trip to Phoenix. Like, when I say giant haul, I mean massive haul. Like, you guys, you guys will have a lot to watch when I get back. <laughs> Alright, so I think that is it for this video, and, oh, so far, there's one more item. I just remembered the L'Oreal, um, matte lip glosses are amazing. They're amazing. I love it so much. I have one over there. I have the red one. I don't really know, know what number it is, but it's the super red one. I'm mad at myself. It's like all the way over there, so I'm not gonna go get it. But just so you know, I love them. The formulation is amazing. Absolutely love it. If you don't have your hands on one of those, go to the store right now and get one. I'm not kidding. Go get one. Alright, so enough blabbering by me. That is it for this video. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and give me a thumbs up while you're down there. And let me know in the comments below what you guys would like to see. Like, what type of videos, anything. Give me suggestions. I am open to them. I love them. A lot. Alright, so I will guess I will just see you in my next video. Bye!